this class we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic force electromagnetic force can be seen in an atom in an atom the electrons revolve around the nucleus due to this electromagnetic force the force between these uh, pro electrons and protons is uh, is also the electromagnetic force if you give a shake to a person the force exists between the two hands is electromagnetic force if you are standing on the floor the force between the uh, leg or foot and the floor is electromagnetic force if a fish swimming in water the force exerted between the water and the fish is electromagnetic force if an aeroplane is or a bird flying in air the force between the body and the air is electromagnetic force so wherever uh, there is a force the force is electromagnetic force uh, and in universe we can say like this except gravitational force remaining all force comes under this electromagnetic force and coming to the electromagnetic force some important uh, forces in electromagnetic force is let us see some important forces in electromagnetic force contact force contact force is an electromagnetic force tension tension is also an electromagnetic force bayon force bayon force is also an electromagnetic force viscous drag Viscous drag is also an electromagnetic force. So first, let us discuss this the contact force. What is meant by contact force? See, whenever a two solid surfaces are in contact, the force exists is called as contact force. For example, you consider floor, and a block is placed on the floor. so floor is a solid surface and block is a solid surface these both are in contact so there is contact force so whenever there is a contact force whenever a block or a, a body placed on the floor then these forces act on the block uh, the force which is perpendicular to the plane is called as normal force or normal reaction and the force which is parallel to the floor is called as frictional force so if the force is perpendicular to the block or the floor then that is normal force or normal reaction so this normal reaction always balanced with the downward force mg or weight weight of the block so this is balanced by the weight normal force is balanced by the weight and this frictional force will be parallel to the plane of contact and a middle uh, or uh, these two forces are resultant with an a uh, reaction force reaction force and here <coughs> coming to tension this tension Uh, can be observed in many things mainly a string a string which is structured or when a force acts on the string then it tends to tension or a rubber cord a rubber cord when it is stretched it tends to tension and a spring a spring when a spring is compressed or elongated it tends to tension for example let us take a string so this is a string in extensible string it is not extending uh, if we apply if it is no app application of force is there it will be like this if any force see both sides i am applying some force on this string 
this is inextensible so when i'm applying some force on this string the string tends to tension see or if you consider a rope tied to a uh, what we call support and if you apply some force on the rope by putting some weights then it tends to tension or if you take any swing a swing and if, uh, what happens to the swing any person may sit in the string so whenever a person sitting in the string and moving or oscillating then the ropes of the string or swing sorry tends to tension and in the same way rubber cord also rubber cord tends to tension when it is stretched when we live like this it is in a slacken state but when we apply some force on it when we are stretching it there will be a some tension in it so i am applying some force on it so it is applying force on me as well so this rubber cord is also having some tension in the same way if you consider a spring spring tends to tension in two uh, ways while in extension and during compression elongation or compression in both in both the states it tends to tension now if you take a rubber cord in a rubber cord it tends to tension when it is stretched when it is stretched it tends to tension and it is it will pull a body when we are stretching it 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 is able to pull a body should uh, drawing this side so definitely a body which is in opposite side can be pulled by this so a rubber cord tends to tension so tension t equal to kx where x is the extension so this is the slacken state of a what we call rubber cord but when we extend it it will extend its length so <laughs> this is x x is the extension and here k is called as elastic constant k is elastic constant and x is the extension for the rubber cord and if you consider a spring spring also tends to tension in two ways while elongating it and while compressing it why i am applying some force to compress it it will try to push the body if you are trying to elongate it it will pull the body so spring spring also tends to tension so spring tension t equal to this is also kx but here k is called spring constant and x is called as extension or compression why because in both states the spring tends to tension while elongating and compressing it tends to tension so a spring constant can be defined like this the force used on the spring to extend it or compress it per unit length the force applied on the spring per unit length for extension or compression is called as spring constant and here if you consider a spring you consider this as normal state and now this is the elongated state so so this is the extension and if you compress the spring 
So this is the compression strain X. It compressed to some length X. Here it is elongated to some length X. So spring constant can be uh, what we, uh, the formula for the spring constant is <coughs> force. We are applying some force on the spring for elongating as well as for compression. So force but what happen, What is happening for the spring it is extending or elongating so force per meter that means force unit is newton sorry uh, length due to that force uh, length is changing the length may increase or decrease so force upon length that means newton upon meter newton meter or this newton meter can be written as newton can be written as kz meter per second square and upon meter so meter meter get cancelled so we will have kz per second square kz per second square or the dimensional formula can be written like this mass there is no length here and time t power minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula and this is the SI unit for spring constant so this is a, uh, these two we have discussed now contact force and tension and in next class we are going to see about this bion force and viscous drag <coughs>